Aaron here and welcome to this Facebook Live. I hope you're well. Today I wanted to show you two activities um, to do with pounds and pence money, converting pounds and pence, uh, changing from pounds to pence and vice versa, pence to pounds and pence. I think I've said pounds and pence too much, but let's have a look at those activities. So the first one is based on a classic memory game. So you'll need yourself a set of cards. I've just got some sticky notes here because they're equally shaped, equally sized, which is nice when you turn them over. So on each uh, set, you want pounds and pence and a linked pence amount. So two pounds 30 is the same as 230 pence. Three pounds 20 is the same as 320 pence. So once you've got all your cards in a pounds and pence and pence, you could make it a little bit trickier. Um, I've used the same digits here, uh, 230 pence, 320 pence, but made them different amounts. So it becomes a little bit trickier when you turn the cards over and it's trying to remember where those amounts are. So once you've got your full set of cards, you can then turn them all over. This is where you have one hand and it becomes a little bit difficult. But you could do this with anywhere between sort of 8 and 16 cards. The more cards you have, the trickier it is. So you've got your pounds and pence all labelled up. And then you just give them a good mix. Mixing with one hand is very difficult. So once you've given them a good mix, this can be played in a single player or you could use pairs if there's siblings. And you just take it in turns to turn one card over, so I've got £2.30 there, and you're trying to find that linked amount. So we know we're looking for a pence, so I'm looking for 230 pence. Now the cards don't match, so they just turn over, and if they don't match, they just tur get turned over and stay in the pack, and then you'll turn two more over, £4.5, I'm looking for four, no, it doesn't match. And when you do eventually get a pair, say I got a pair, let's hope, what was that a pair? 320 pence, yeah. So I've got 320 pence and three pounds 20. You keep that pair and then the game continues and the player with the most pairs at the end uh, wins the game. If you're playing solo, the game, the aim of the game is just to get all the cards matched and linked up. So that's the first activity, a memory game, which is quite nice. The second one is a twist on tic-tac-toe. So underneath all these post-it notes, I've gone a bit mad with the post-it notes today. Underneath these post-it notes is a tic-tac-toe grid, knots and crosses. And under each one, there's a different amount of money shown in a different way. So let's take uh, this one off, for instance. We've got money shown in coins. Didn't have real coins, but printing off will do. And the aim of the game is once you've pulled one and revealed one of your sticky notes to reveal what's underneath, the have to the child has to add up the amount. So we've got four pounds twenty two there, and you'll have to write uh, on a separate piece of paper or underneath the amount in both pounds and pence, showing they understand that it can be written as four pounds and twenty two pence, or it can be written as 422 pence and then they gain that space so it would be a cross or a knot depending on who you are um, again I've shown it in different ways to extend and develop and deepen the thinking we've got three pounds and 41 there so that's one that just needs to be changed into pence 341 pence so if I was a cross on this one I'd have got the cross if I was a knot on up here they get the knot and you carry on uh, revealing in that way. And the reason they're covered up is because it's a bit more challenging. If they were all uncovered, um, children would be able to sort of work them out uh, while they're watching uh, the game unfold. And I've shown them in different ways. Let's have a look what else we've got. Again, a bit more challenging. We've got lots of coins here. So firstly, they have to add them up and then they'll have to show them in both ways, pounds and pence and pence. So five 20 pin pences is a pound. Then we've got two 10 pences, 20p, and three 2 pences is 6 pence. So you've got one pound and 26 pence. And you can show that as pence as well. So they would gain that one. If they get it wrong, it passes over to the next player. So this is the full board. You could play it just like this. Um, 
but it's I think it's a bit more challenging and more fun if you cover them up and the child can't see what they're about to answer. It's a bit more of a, of a test of a quiz that way. Um, bit of a tricky one over here. I have three three silver coins, so that could be any five p's, ten pences, twenty pences, or fifty pences. Um, so there's more than one answer to that one. But making sure once they have the answer, they write it as pounds and pence and pence as well, because it helps them understand that relationship between uh, pounds and pence. Questions you could ask all the way through this: uh, How many pence? How many pennies make a pound? How can your number bonds to 100 help you? And that's because 100 pennies make a pound. If you can make that 100, you know you've got a pound. And then you can figure out what's left. You could also bring addition into this and greater or less than. Is this amount more than this amount? How do you know? So lots of opportunities uh, for good discussion, good language development here to do with maths. So there's two activities for you. That's two activities. They'll be on the timetable over on classroomsecrets.co.uk, as well as lots more practical resources and activities for you to have a go at.